Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. On our website, you'll find pricing information, vehicle information, vehicle photos, as well as a free car fax. Please visit our website, 411carline.com, for all that information. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. All of our vehicles go to third-party shops for inspection, safety, mechanical, and road test inspections are performed. We do whatever safety, mechanical, and maintenance repairs the shop recommends we bring it to. You're welcome to have it inspected prior to buying it as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Ask us about those or it'll be stapled to the Carfax when you come in. We have this 2003 Pontiac Vibe. Came from the East Coast, but I buy based on underside photos as well as the Carfax and miles. It has a beautiful underside for um, a vehicle out of the East Coast. So, was a one owner. Someone transferred the title uh, recently, so it is does show up as a two owner. Um, but go over the overall condition. Front bumper's in beautiful shape. Uh, all the plastics, it looks like someone tried to, um, they get kind of like a faded color. It looks like someone tried to either clear coat them or something, I'm not sure. Um, it didn't come off at detail, so I was hoping it was just some sort of dressing. Headlights are nice and clear on this one. Hood's in pretty good shape. There are a couple little rock chips here and there, as to be expected with 101,000 miles. It's got good all-season tires on it. You can see the tread depth on there is excellent yet. Wheels are in decent condition. There are minor imperfections on them. Body overall is in pretty good shape. It does have a moon roof. It has the roof rack with the cross rails. It has vent visors on it. This one here is cracked, but those are kind of handy for when it's raining. So these are often used to car camp or especially uh, um, road trip and that sort of thing. So, so that both the doors are in good shape. Quarters in good shape. Again, this wheel's in decent condition. There's minor imperfections like right here. Uh, you can see tread depth on those tires is excellent. It's got the dual spoiler, which is kind of cool. Back bumper is in pretty good shape. There has been some touch up on the um, here. It's going to be an MI pink. I take a look at that, but looks like someone had bumper stickers on it. Same with here. This this will actually come off. Detail should have taken that off, but I do need to get a tail light. I'm aware of that. It's got a little crack in it. So all the wheels are in pretty similar condition. This side of the body is in pretty good shape as well. That water spot under it's from the AC, I had the AC running, so. I'll show you the underside here. It's pretty clean. I wouldn't say rust free, but I would say relatively free of rust. If you look along the pinch here, where you usually get a lot of rot, especially with these plastic rocker covers, there is not. So interior's in nice shape. It's a, I believe it's a non-smoker vehicle. I have not seen any uh, um, signs of that or pet odor. So the best thing about these, um, is this back seat folds completely flat. You can also, with this little handle here, fold this front seat. I'm not gonna do it because my camera's sitting there, but the front seat folds flat as well, so a whole human being can stretch out and sleep in one of these. Back seat's in good shape. Carpet's in decent condition. Straight into the back side here. Again, relatively clean for the year and the miles and being from the East Coast. These vibes are just super popular, the vibe and the matrix. Put you under this side. Again, relatively clean. Door panels are in good shape. Again, back seat's in good condition. Driver's seat's in decent shape, no rips or tears. Expect minor staining and that sort of thing. Minor carpet wear, as to be expected with the year and the miles. Hop in, start it up for you here. Looks like this one does have two keys, does have a fob as well. 
ironically the same as Toyota fobs. So this one has 101040 for miles on it. If you're familiar with these, they're pretty reliable and they will run for a long time if you do normal maintenance. So headlights are over here, it does have fog lamps. Rear hatch here, power windows, power locks, keyless entry, power mirrors. Everything works as it's intended to. Uh, steering wheel is overall in good shape. It does have uh, cruise control down here. Wipers, of course, are over there. No lights on the dash, it's been fully serviced. Uh, we did do front brakes on it, I recall. I don't recall what else offhand. Maybe a valve cover gasket, can't remember, but automatic transmission runs, drive shifts well. Just had it aligned as well. I thought the steering wheel was just slightly off, so um, there is a little bit of scratch. It There are a little bit of scratches here uh, in this seek button. And then it's pretty common with these. Uh, part of the backlight is out for the radio. A lot of people are gonna put an aftermarket head unit in one of these most of the time anyways, or it's pretty easy to see the numbers right there. So AC works, heat works, it's got defrost. Check the operation of the moonroof. Looks like it does work. Headliner appears to be in pretty good shape as well. Oops, just covered up the camera. Check for a manual, it does have a manual in there. I guess if you want the uh, RPO codes, they're in here. This one does have a outlet here too, which is convenient for car camping. People use these for normal driving, of course, too. I just see a lot of people using them for utility vehicles. So I think that's about it on the interior here. Let's uh, hop out, I'll show you under the hood here. Hood release is right there, just like a Toyota. My phone does pick up small engine valve train noise, so sometimes it's a little more ticky or clicky than it would be in person. Relatively clean under here. Um, minor surface rust in, in some areas, like the hood latch, and like, nothing too major. All the strut towers look good. runs well. That's the 2003 Pontiac Vibe. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, 411carline.com, or give us a call 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.